Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie, and before you say no, give us a like and a subscribe. If you don't like the video, don't subscribe and don't like it, whatever. This is what's gonna happen, I'm gonna talk about what I'm talking about. And you might not like it, you might not even agree with it. This is what is going on. The Flash, over at uh, CinemaCon yesterday, The Flash, they showed some footage of it. They announced that General Zod is back, and, and apparently Supergirl, uh, Sasha Kaya looks amazing as Supergirl. People are saying that it's spectacular, she is a standout. Some of the test screens, we have heard that she is a standout in the film. But who knows what to believe about that anymore? But we do know that stuff was shown. Ben Affleck Batman was not shown. Apparently it was a very Batman-heavy trailer, teaser, whatever you want to call this thing is. Whether or not we're going to be getting it on the, in the outside world online, who knows if it's ever going to... I mean, this movie's never coming out, so what does it matter? But look, at the end of the movie, we've heard that, that they kind of make reference that, that Henry Cavill Superman is not in this universe, blah, blah, blah. But here's the, here's the cool thing, okay? Look, this movie is taking everything we've known from the Snyder films and even beyond and and, it, and it's it's using that and so you can look at it two ways you could be negative about it which is very easy to do and we'll get you know if I, if I write this negative it would give me lots of views or you can look at it in the positive light and and, and I'm gonna go in that direction for now because why waste my energy being pissed off let's be positive for a bit okay so we're gonna talk about this here's what's happening it's taking everything that Zack Snyder did and it's not erasing it you're gonna see people bullshitting online telling you it's erasing everything it's not erasing everything okay and then people it's pushing it to the side okay sure fine. it's not even doing that here's what's actually here's what's happening they're telling a story a story about the Flash, and the Flash is trying to uh, save his uh, mother and, and, and in the process freeing his father from prison. Okay, so this is what the movie is about, and he ends up going back in time. And there's a lot of speculation about what happens in there, and it sounds like Flash is the anyway. We'll do another video on the Flash. In this whole process, he comes, and then he discovers that he's you know he's gone back in time, but not just that he's crossed into a, a multiverse, into another universe. They've also announced that this is going to be the first opening of the multiverse for DC films. So in doing so, he's in another another universe and in this universe General Zod, our General Zod from Man of Steel, Michael Shannon who is now confirmed to be in it, kills, this is all reportedly now rumored, Kal-El when he is a baby and in, so, and in doing so they send Supergirl to Earth. Okay? Now you might be pissed off about that but again just remember this is a story. An isolated story. Okay? Just remember this. Stay with me here. And so in doing that, Supergirl arrives on Earth, you gotta deal with it. Now, the Batman thing, the Batman thing doesn't really make sense, but whatever, it's an older Batman, so it's an older whatever. But it's Michael Keaton Batman. And then Zod, reportedly rumored, kills new Batman and Supergirl. And then when this is all over, and Flash goes back, he finds out that he actually messed things up big time, and has now the, uni the multiverse, the universes have kind of blended together now they've bled into each other so batman from the wrong universe is now in his universe and supergirl from wrong one is there and then the the end credit is of course we all heard that it's ben affleck saying come find us barry so here's the thing that's actually kind of cool because the like zack snyder is very busy right now so you're not going to get a zack snyder film for a long time you could do is you know if he wants to come back and produce whatever that's fine but right now they have this and this is this kind of sounds solid if you actually like think about it rationally this is a solid idea where they can utilize these new characters that they have while trying to figure out the Henry Cavill ca contract stuff. Look, I, you know I think it's dumb. We need Superman in this universe, but you figure out the Henry Cavill contract stuff, then you could probably bring him in. You get Ben Affleck. You know, Ben Affleck's pretty much done, let's be honest. He'll come back for a few things here and there, but he's basically done. You utilize this and you tell more stories like this until you can get there. It sounds great. Huge Snyderverse fans are saying that this movie sounds fantastic, and they're saying... They've heard that it shuts the door on the Snyderverse, but they're also saying that it actually leaves it open. And that's where I'm going to leave it. I was a little heated here, but that's whatever. People need to pay attention. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. I want to hear what all of you have to say in the comments down below. Please leave a comment. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.